In preparation for creating our design triangulation, we're just going to turn off the models that we don't want to triangulate, which includes our alignments and our curb returns and any of our survey data. So effectively we just want our sections and strings left on. When we turn off our alignments, you'll notice that we have a gap at the intersection and also another gap at the end of the road. And this is because we started our sections and strings at the end of the curb return and we finished them at the start of the curb return in the cul-de-sac head. We therefore need to add a crown to our road so that when we triangulate it we get the proper camber through the intersections. To add the crown string we're going to do an MTF modifier for road number two. So we click on edit data and select any of the sections or strings in road number two and accept it. The modifier we're going to do, doesn't matter if we do it on the left or the right, but we'll do it on the left hand side. And we start off with our comment and it'll just be called insert crown strings and we're doing a fixed insert insert. For the link name we're just going to use the same name as the centerline string here. So once again we can middle mouse click inside our field and pick and accept the string. The color once again middle mouse button pick and accept. The width of the string we want it to be zero because we want it to be sitting right on the alignment string and the crossfall will also be zero. We can set our start mode to typed and our start chainage if we pick on the little icon here we just want to start it at the lip of curb string and it's always a good idea just to add one millimeter just so that the two strings don't overlap when they're created and the same with our end, we'll just end it at the first cross section and then subtract one millimeter. Our interval, we'll set that to one meter and we can click on OK there. If you now click apply, leave this panel open, just click apply and then recalc, that will create the crown string for you. We also need to add the crown string into our cul-de-sac head so we can copy that down, copy, paste and all we need to do is change our start and end chainages. So our start chainage, pick on the last cross section and add one millimeter and our end we can just pick anywhere past the end of the crown and click on OK, apply and recalc. We can now close down the left templates modifier panel by clicking on OK and save and finish our MTF editor.